Hello there. I will be solving the sparse series problem from hacker rank. So let's read the problem. Uh, there is a collection of input strings and a collection of query strings. For each query string, determine how many times it occurs in the list of input strings. For example, given input strings is AB, AB, ABC, and queries array is AB, ABC, BC. We find two instances of AB, right? One of ABC, yes, and zero of BC. Okay. For each query, we add an element to return our array results, which is two one zero. All right. So, national. So I'm using the string library as we need to use the compare function which is a part of string library since we need to compare the elements in queries with the elements in strings. Now let's do the uh, input part. And let's initialize the arrays. So I'm taking a 2D array because uh, strings basically it is an array of characters. <coughs> so but we need array of strings now. Therefore we need to take a two dimensional array which stores arrays within arrays. So this is for strings array, next is queries array. Then we need to input the number of elements in each array. So int n str to input the number of elements in string array and n q u e <coughs> for <coughs> excuse me for number of elements in query array. Then r e s for results array and and str this is to input the number of elements in string array now we input string array takes the input of strings array now we scan of this D and QE for inputting the number of elements in queries array then inputting the queries array and type zero and scan percentage S K file so we are done with the input part now we will do the logic part so what we, should, what we need to do is we need to check if the element in a query array is equal to the element in strings array. For that, I'll as I mentioned, I'll be using the strcmp function, which is used to compare two strings. So, if uh, what if for i equal to zero, i less than n q i plus plus for int equal to zero. So 
so here comes logic if str cmp qa of i comma str of j <coughs> equal to equal to zero so what this does is when two strings are same from both the arrays the str cmp function returns zero as there is no difference between the strings so if it is true then we need a variable for counting the number of times uh, where uh, element repeats I will be using some say x initialize it to 0 and <coughs> x plus plus but if we just leave as x plus plus what happens is whenever there is a same element x increments so a b repeats twice so it, the x value goes 2 then again a b c repeats once so the x value becomes 3 we don't want that to happen because we need to out, uh, output the number of times each element was repeated for that we should reset the value of x to 0 after every iteration then and then we need to store the value of x in the results array for that I will be doing rs of y equal to x so then we need to print the results array for i equal to 0 i less than nq plus plus So here I have given the limit as nqe because as we can see in the sample inputs and outputs the number of output elements is always equal to the number of elements in query. So I just made this open. Now we will be running the program. Okay. Hmm. Thirty-four. Something is wrong. Oh, okay. It's not initialized. So I'm going to initialize it there. Again, what again? Now. Hmm. Okay. Oh, semicolon is done. We copy this to two one zero. Let's see the output. Then one zero one. Matches. Then one three four three two one three four three two matches. So you can find this code in my GitHub repository. I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks for watching.